We wanted to make a real character, someone that, that you could look into when you felt this isn't a costume, that this is a real person. Early on we were thinking, how do we reskin these worlds with these kind of hellish elements? And we wanted to have our own look without it being too cliché. A world that is full of life, full of movement, is very vivid. Um, and I think in Hellblade we can take that in a direction that's a bit darker than what we've done before. Hellblade is Ninja Theory's new project uh, and it's an independent AAA game. So we can have complete creative control of the game and design it in such a way that it's focused specifically on our fans and our supporters. And it's going to be focused really on three things and that's melee combat, a deep engaging character story and on a unique art vision. Uh, Hellblade is about taking those to the next level. It's based on Celtic uh, history and Viking history. They uncovered a Celtic goddess uh, 1600 years ago in England. Her name's Senua. We don't know anything about her. There's some inscription there, but that's all. You're afraid of the dark. I'm being patient. This history that must have been in that character is just unknown. So that in itself was interesting, but then to create a character that wasn't your typical sexy heroine, We've been trying to work against that, trying to make her more real, more like she lived in that time and period. It, it, I think it signals a kind of more maturity in, in our way of thinking. Um, and I think that fits in with where we see technology going. It's, it's become more mature. The worlds that we can create seem more real. The characters need to feel more real. We need to f uh, fight against the CG look. kind of put things that are difficult to do in, in the game, like dirt and fur and hair. And although it's still very fantastical, it's, it's got a different twist on fantasy that's much more based on, on her, her inner eye, and how she sees the world. It's like her personal descent into hell is reflected in the world. It's more of an inner journey. Control the fear. Let it pass through. Find the light that light is your strength and let it grow. Open your eyes. It's her biggest fears and nightmares kind of manifested in, in a visual language and, and that's kind of super exciting. I mean, we want to take advantage of a lot of post work for that but also a lot of um, effects work and that's, that's, where, that's what I'm most excited about is to really not just have it as a cool effect but to tell a story with these elements. In Hellblade we wanted the world to feel more like um, that you've been dropped into this island area. And initial tests were, were done where we've got the, the logo for Hellblade. We've not shoehorned it, the logo in there. It's, there's, there's natural elements and there's subtle kind of man-made features that when you do pull out you begin to read that. So we started by putting the logo in and, and using some negative and positive space and trying to just quickly rough out what the, this kind of volcanic circle could look like with, with the heart of the citadel in the centre and then just very quickly got that into Unreal 4, dropping ourselves onto the mountains and looking back at the whole kind of circle of the logo and, and then imagining, well, that looks like these little spines coming through the water and that could be rock and this could be marshland and so this new approach of drawing on strengths that we see and then making features within those is, seems to be working really well at the moment. We want it to be the most realistic game that we've done and Unreal Engine will definitely help support that you know, with all of their leaps forward with the physically based shading and the dynamic lighting. It's definitely going to be a really visual feast and a great journey to go through to, to see our interpretation of, of hell.